According to StopBullying.gov, bullying is defined as unwanted aggressive behavior that involves a real or perceived power imbalance. Typically experienced at school amongst adolescents and youth, bullies are now using the internet. Cyber bullies use a superhighway to threaten their victims. Harry Durden, a junior in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, says social networking means easy access. Students have more access to one another through social medias, such as Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, it's definitely like more ways to like target them through like pictures, comments, different posts. Taylor Stokes, a junior in the College of Media, believes cyberbullying is more common nowadays. Everybody's on the internet, so um, and people get so caught up in you know celebrities and things of that nature, especially at a young age, that they will attack each other for no reason at all. While Stokes and Durden believe that online bullying has replaced old-fashioned confrontations, experts disagree. Dr. Dorothy Espelage, Child Development Chair of the Department of Education, has researched bullying for over 20 years and says that the national data hasn't reported an increase in cyber aggression. In fact, we know from the national data that face-to-face -face bullying is much more prevalent. About 30% of kids report this face-to-face -face bullying in schools. Much smaller percentages of kids say that they are bullied online or even harassed online. But research has shown an increase in another area. We do know that there's an increase in text messaging victimization in this country, and one that we need to kind of pay attention to. And though research reveals that online bullying is not common, Dirted and Stokes are not convinced. Me, I'm particularly shocked as that only because I think that I don't really see like more like face-to-face -face bullying anymore. Like you see more bullying through social networks um, because it's like people become I guess they, people have different personalities behind the computer than they would face to face. And then on top of that, sometimes the online bullying leads to regular bullying face to face, especially if you know somebody. Dr. Espelage believes in teaching our kids the importance of maintaining healthy relationships while also understanding that technology can be positive. For Off the Shelf Online, I'm Celeste Love reporting.